AITA for not letting my husband's parents live in the house I own? I. 31 F. Married my husband. 35 meters. When I graduated from college and he was well within his career. We both have good digress and live in sea country. I always wanted to pursue an academic career and wanted to pursue my PhD from a good reputable European or American university and never got to do that. My husband decided that he wanted an academic career too and decided to pursue that. He already had his master's so he went for PhD in USA and he was living at a very low paycheck in well beyond his means. He had some savings from working in a corporate setting so he was able to live off of that too. I did my masters at my home country while working a well-paying job and saved a lot. We do live in a traditional household so I was living with his parents and have no expenses. This how it is in my country after wedding you are expected to live with your husband and his parents are wherever your husband allows. After my master's I got a very good opportunity for PhD with a really good grant. I was still freelancing so I had good money. He came back to the country and basically had no savings and I at this time bought a house. He was aware of the purchase and I bought it to rent it out. With no intention of moving in and started making good money on the rent. I always wanted to do something good for my parents because my father was very poor in the beginning but he still provided me with excellent opportunities. So I purchased an apartment nicer to what my parents live in and told my parents to rent their current apartment to generate more monthly income for them. My husband was not aware of this setting. Well the cat got out of the bag. My husband's parents are furious with me because I have done nothing for them. I give his mother monthly allowance for fun money and pay for the maid that does the housework. And my husband basically has no savings and no assets. I told him it's not my fault. He demanded to evict my parents and I told him to kick rocks. He then asked me to put his name on the house deed and I wasn't thrilled to do that as well. He told me that this means divorce and I told him we don't live in US. I will still own everything and he will have to pay my father the dowry he owes. His parents asked to let them live in the house I own and it is currently bigger than what we live in. I said no to that because that will mean cutting off a decent chunk of my monthly income. I do feel bad about his situation but feel justified in my reasoning if I put his name on anything. I will have to share. I am willing to share the monthly income but he doesn't want that. I do carry his and mine expenses but that's about it. I am willing to save and buy his parents something but that will have to be in my name. So AITA for not telling about my husband about my gift to parents and not giving him any asset. It seems his parents expect a lot from you. But nothing from him. I have no idea about the cultural details. But from a fairness point of view NTA. Protect your assets. Seems nobody from his family spares a thought for you. Talk with your parents and ask them to talk to religious leaders. Talk to them about how he does not fulfill his job as a husband. How you were not allowed to live with him abroad. That he doesn't provide all this time for the household. That you had to work to provide for yourself and his family. That you give them money from your work. And now they want to take the propriety you earned. And the fact they even want the property your parents are living. Ask your father and brothers to intervene for you. If he divorces you. Leaves their name in the ground as a wife exploited. To all your community to see. NTA. NTA your husband cannot live past not being the breadwinner of the family. Please do not put anything in his name. He will transfer it or kick your parents out. You gave his parents money. So you are covered as he did not have money when he was studying. Now that he has moved back you still provided. He needs to earn his keep. 
NTA and as an internet stranger can I say I'm proud of you. You've managed huge accomplishments and have been extremely generous with your rewards. Your husband is a deadbeat. NTA. NTA I think. I live in the US. So I'm not aware of any culture difference. From what you have said. I think he should be providing for them. NTA. You don't owe his parents anything. Not even the monthly allowance they get. You should put his name on divorce papers. NTA. It's tradition that the husband provides. So as he should. Save his money to provide for his wife and parents. Stand your ground up. NTA. He has gotten to do what he wanted on your dime. You are entitled to the fruits of your labor. If your husband demands divorce, you might be better off giving it to him, but you should probably consult with a lawyer first too. See how to protect yourself. There are obviously cultural implications we may not all understand at play here but it seems entirely unfair that you've supported him and his parents and they want more, all out of you while giving you nothing in return. NTA you already give them some money. He is meant to be providing for them and you. He chose to go waste money getting a degree that hasn't seemed to give him any better jobs. NTA it's weird to see so many parents that think they're entitled to their kids or in-laws money. NTA. I think you're far better on your own. Your husband doesn't seem to show any respect for your accomplishments. Especially since he was able to go and do whatever he pleases. NTA. If his parents want a house then their son should start working two jobs to pay for that. The fact you already give them an allowance and pay for their maid is more than enough. Protect your assets. Look into divorce law where you are. You aren't responsible for these people as they're not taking care of you emo. NTA. My gosh. They've been holding you back and you still found a way to succeed in your career. Make money. Invest in property while helping your family and in-laws? You go girl. You don't owe them anymore. Seriously. Keep your properties under your name because sadly. It seems like this might possibly go the divorce route. Your husband shouldn't be holding you back. You should be a team. His ego is unreal. NTA definitely kick him to the curb. NTA. You are a strong, independent woman. And I'm seriously impressed with your financial moves. You worked for it and earned it. You do with it what you want. NTA and hold your ground. Protect yourself. And he already threatened divorce. So take it seriously and believe him. He'll take you for everything you have so do not do anything that can let him. It's his own fault. He has proven to be untrustworthy. NTA. If you added him to the deed. He would immediately leverage it to evict your parents. Poor planning and money management on his side doesn't create an emergency on your side. NTA. You've done well for yourself and it is your asset to do with it what you like. Let him divorce you. Bye. Felicia. Your husband is an irresponsible person and wants to mooch off you. Do not put his name on anything that you worked hard for. His parents should be his responsibility. NTA. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.